Short answer, this tool here turns drawn movement into peg movement. So things like this become this. Long answer, good hello, welcome to Onion Skin. This is one of the most underappreciated tools in Toon Boom that I have seen. It's always been there, but it feels like a secret feature because of how subtle its effect is and yet so powerful. And it is this wonderful marriage of mindset between traditional methods and digital methods. Being able to transfer your drawn movement into peg movement can now stay in the mindset of a traditional animator, thinking about movement and flow of energy and all that sort of arty stuff, and yet still take advantage of the modern tools, maximizing both your expression and your efficiency. So here is a short hand-drawn animation of this character jumping across the screen. Everything's just drawn in the camera view, no peg movement or anything like that. What you see is what you get. If I go up to my advanced animation tools, I am however going to make sure that it has a peg at this time. Notice that the pivot point for the peg remains in the center of the stage this entire time. I'm gonna go up to this tool here along from the animation tools called reposition drawing. Very curious looking thing. It feels a little strange to use and it doesn't even really look like it does anything until the end. So if I go and pick it up here, we see it's made of two parts. We've got this dotted cross and the black cross. And all we do is place the dotted version where we want zero to be. Where do you want the middle of the hypothetical page to be? And then you press the checkbox and you notice that the black one has now come to greet it there. I'm gonna move my timeline along now to the next drawing. And I'm just gonna work through my whole scene moving the shape to directly between the bottom of his legs for each drawing. Now we've got one with a little bit of angle, so I can use this long bit to sort of tilt it along. So you do have to do it for each drawing, but it's not much of a grind. Only takes a minute or so to do. And you might notice as I'm doing this, that keyframes are starting to be created along my peg layer there. And there we go, I play the animation through, we can see the cross is following along the whole time but it doesn't look like anything's actually happened until we decide to turn this peg off. And we notice something very curious has happened indeed. My character is now staying perfectly in the same place. This is further emphasized over in the drawing view where there are no pegs or any other translated data. Like they're just on a drawing substitution level, you can see according to the grid here that this character is always sitting in exactly the same spot. This is incredibly powerful and hopefully your imagination is already starting to tick over on the possibilities of something like this. It means the drawings of my animation are no longer location dependent. I can start swapping out my substitutions wherever they are across the jump and the position doesn't matter. Because it's even up on a peg as well, it means I can create other layers and have them connect straight into that peg. And whatever I draw is going to follow along with my leap now. So these three frames of flame here, which is just looping over and over again, just works out. In fact, if I'm over in the drawing view, I can draw whatever shape I want and even animate it in place where I have no distractions and I can be very confident that I'm staying on model with my own shapes and use another peg in between. And everything just sort of connects. Another practical use of the reposition drawing tool would be something like this, where I've got this head and mouth moving along. I've drawn each of these mouths on the head in real space as it moves, which might be a little bit of a problem if I need to do some more lip syncing later because each mouth was drawn at different places around the stage. If I wanted to put them all back onto the head again, that's a lot of fiddly work. But fortunately, create a peg for the mouth and then use the reposition drawing tool. All my mouths are now in the same spot. And I can use this for some further lip syncing. This last example is a very important one that I think a lot of riggers will appreciate. It's something that I myself had skipped over in a previous video discussing how deformers work. Back then I encouraged the use of placing your pivots with the position tool well in advance before even starting your drawing as it can be quite a hassle to update afterwards. But here you can see I've got a torso and arm demonstration. All of them are just drawn raw. There's no pegs on anything yet. I'll create a peg just as before, and of course the 
problem with that is my pivot is in the middle, uh, which is really sucks when you start to move it over on these things, because although you can get it working just fine on one of them, uh oh, the pivot is in the wrong spot for the other arms and it's a huge pain to go and reset and blah, blah, blah. So fortunately we have the reposition drawing tool here and I'll just put the dotted lines right where I want the pivot to be for each one of these separate angles, like so. And then when I go back to the rotation tool, we'll find that it, it's gone flying off crazy somewhere, but that's okay. I'll just put it where I want it to be once. And look at that. It has magically appeared in the right spot for each drawing substitution. And I didn't have to do any fiddling around with my vector art. And you know, it's okay to just sort of draw things where they lay and line it up afterwards. Now that your hand-drawn animation is starting to work with pegs and a few keyframes, or if you're taking it a little bit further, like in that rigged example, you're going to need to know how to work with pivots. So you're gonna to wanna to see this video here to learn all of the quirks and nuances of how pivots work in Toon Boom Harmony. Even if you've been using the program for years, there is some interesting things in there that is worth looking at. Also consider having a gander at the Patreon for all of the working files used in this video, and come swing by the Discord server, show us something that you've made. All that's in the description. Now go learn about pivots, it'll be worth it.